Well, the takeaway from today's protest, a message of hope and unity as people from all across Iowa and all across the globe came together here in Ames to support people in Ukraine. Standing in solidarity, wearing Ukrainian colors, a rally in downtown Ames began with the Ukrainian national anthem. People packed the streets, waving signs and flags, finding any way to support Ukraine despite the distance. We are supporting our brothers and sisters in Ukraine right now. Um, and we are asking everybody else to join us in this fight. It was a day heavy with emotion, tearful hugs and passionate calls for action. I want to call my mom and say, hey, how are you doing? And she say, the sky is blue, the grass is green and everything is OK. The birds are singing. We are fine. There is no war. I don't want to call her and hear any sirens calling them to the basement or shelters or stuff like that. Natalia Panura is a senior at West Central Valley High School. She moved here from Ukraine just six months ago, but now family is far away and under attack. I'm unfortunately not back home. If I would, I would go to army. I would stand. I'll be a volunteer. I can't go home now. So I'm supporting as much as I can. On Sunday, that support looks like sharing information, stories, and the resiliency of the Ukrainian people. So powerful. I can feel it even in the air because so much of people that support in Ukraine and they're singing, they're... It's just Ukrainian power, I think. For foreign exchange student Margarita Tatarina, the collective support is turning tears into action. To be honest, I was crying because, you know, my mom is there, all my friends are there. But in a short day, I realized that if I was crying all the time, how can I help Ukraine? How I can help my family? So I realized that I need to do something. I'm not going to cry anymore. Only I will cry in only one day when Ukraine will win. In Ames, Amanda Rooker, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.